What's up everyone, welcome back to another video and this video I'm going to talk about how to fix Java not opening jar files on your Windows 11 or on your Windows 10 and how we can fix this up so let me directly get into a step. So the first and famous step is all about we just need to go over here search for the settings and we have to click on this one and right now from here just go over here for the apps and right now from here what we need just go over here install it apps and right now as you can see we have to search here for the java the first and famous step so as you can see we have both java installed over here so right click on this one and go for uninstall and uninstall it similarly we have to uninstall the another one as well so just make sure the java should be completely uninstalled from your device that's all you have to try let me go over and uninstall this as well and once it's successfully uninstalled we have to reinstall it back because sometimes you know reinstalling back the java is going to fix the issue so let me go over here, go on the Google Chrome and you have to search for the Java download and click on the download over here. And right now, if you scroll down, you can see there is an option called Windows Online. So you have to download this one. And once it's successfully downloaded, we just need to go over here, click on the file explorer and navigate to the downloads. And from here, you have to click on this particular option over here and go for yes. And right now, what happens is just go for install, which is going to do installation on a device as well. So what happens is we uninstalled the older versions of the Java and we just installed back the newer version because sometimes you know installing back the latest version can fix the issue up. So after installing the Java, what we need to do is we just need to go back and we have to just check over here like this. So once it's successfully installed, we need to wait because it's going to take a little bit of time, not much, even though hardly or less than 10 to five minutes maybe once it's installed you just need to go back over here on this pc go to lock this c go to the program file x86 scroll down and navigate to the java from here get into this one and right now what we need is just get into bin folder and you can see these are some of the applications and if you wanted to open it just go over here like this and if you find the java over here you're fine with it just open it as well so the java files can be opened using this the latest versions still if you're having the trouble then what we need to just go over here on a google chrome and we need to search for another one so this time what we need to do is just search for jar fix that's what we have to try just search for jar fix download so that's going to take you to this and right now from a website called johan you have to click on this particular website over here and right now once it's going to take you to this and if you scroll down you can see there is an option called jar fix.exe click on this one and it's going to get installed on a device as well so we need to install just go back over here at the downloads and from here we have to run this particular .exe over here and once it says the jar fix over has been registered successfully and the jar package java applications can be executed again by double click so once afterwards check with this one still if you're having the trouble then what we need to do is we just need to go over here on a google chrome and this time we need to search for a new one that is all about we are going to search for this time we are going to search for JTK that is Java development kit we have to search for the Java development kit download and from here we have to go to the first one called Java downloads and this time we have to scroll down and navigate to this particular session so these are some of the available operating like Linux Mac OS for Windows so this is for the Linux users this is for the Apple users and for the Windows users go over here and from here you have to download the x64 because my system is based on x64 so I have to download this one and once it's successfully downloaded, you're fine with it. So it's going to get downloaded as you can see. Once it's successfully downloaded, it is around 206 MB. So which is not a huge file. So what we need to do is after it's successfully downloaded, we just need to install the .exe on a system and you have to try opening with this particular Java development kit.